Hi, Roberto Rodriguez from Cisco Tech XR Team here. Today, I will describe basic knowledge on how to navigate through disk spaces for better management. The first thing to understand is where are located the spaces of memory in a router. This might vary a little bit depending on the version and in the platform you're using, but the main concept remains the same. This demonstration is being performed in an ASR9006 with software version EXR 7.3.2. You can check the version and the platform with these commands. The first command is show media, that provided the directories of the memory space containing the RSP serial. You know the memory space is in the RSP serial because the command provides you this information in the field media info for location. It is important to understand this because every component has its own memory space and you can corroborate it with show media location all. If you check the field media info for location, you find that it changes depending on the component. For example, for a media info for location, node 02 CPU 0 represents the line card 2, NAK8X100GELSE, that is displayed with the command show platform, and the same happens with the rest of the memory spaces. Every component has its own memory space, where R store different directories. This demonstration is going to be focused on hard disk. Now the question, how to navigate between different directories. The use of the command CD allows you to move to every directory you want. You can corroborate the path of the directory by using the command pwd. As you can see, it displays a path with a different name from hard disk, but this is truly the directory used for hard disk. Once in hard disk, it's possible to display what files and directories it contains with the command dir, and you can validate that it's the same path as it was previously mentioned. By identifying the letter d, you can find the directories available for this memory space. You can move those directories by using again the command cd, for this demonstration, the changes are going to be performed in directory Showtech, which is where normally Showtech files are stored. You can use command dir to display what files are contained in this directory. To delete those files, you can do it with command delete. All of these changes are being performed in the memory space of RSP0, as mentioned at the beginning. To verify the proper deletion of the file, you can use the command dir to see that the file is no longer there. Another useful command is copy, that would allow you to copy one file from one directory into another. For example, you can copy a file from directory hard disk, subdirectory showtick, into directory hard disk, that if you notice, is the father of showtick. System will request you to confirm destination file name. This can be achieved by pressing enter. To corroborate that the operation is successful, you can go back one directory to the folder directory of Showtech using the command cd two dots and then dir. These are some basic commands that can help you to navigate through memory spaces in Cisco USXR. Thank you so much.